Hello Pirates, TSM here and welcome back to my channel. So for this video I thought we'd have a quick look at uh, tactical installations, or a bit of a revision basically. I've seen a few things on the forum which have raised a few questions um, and I thought this might help to answer some of the, um, the queries that, that I've seen um, in the last few days. So basically, first and foremost, what I'm going to cover is installations to buildings, not necessarily to turrets, okay? Because that's a separate thing. And I know it's been covered by other individuals as well, Ren, for example, and, and both for Derpy as well. So first and foremost, then, I think the first thing is, like I said, I'm not going to talk about uh, these sort of things here. Obviously, these are the specials that fit in on your turrets. And they're quite straightforward because every time you add something to a turret, then obviously you can see the corresponding bonus effect you get it's almost instantaneous so it's pretty straightforward to work out whether you're getting a bonus or not getting a bonus it's what's not quite so simple is when you put on a, a tactical um, or, or a tech bonus obviously onto a building and then it's trying to find what that installation has done and is it in the right place and do those multiple stack okay then so you can have two different like fire support one and a fire support two okay but only one of them will actually have an effect um, and you'll notice then that this one here for example okay which is giving obviously this turret here, which is obviously uh, interestingly is a, is a corrosive uh, turret, but um, it's actually only getting f this single line here, which is a corrosive damage bonus of 5%. So that's, that is obviously from fire support one. Whilst it has other, okay then, other statistics here as well, those aren't actually of any benefit to this particular turret. I mean, if there is a explosive turret in the range and that sort of stuff, then, then yes, obviously that turret specifically will get that 5% bonus as well. But this turret doesn't get any of the other bonuses apart from the single bonus there, which is obviously the 5% obviously to the um, to the corrosive bonus there. So just, just something to remember, okay? Um, you'll notice then uh, that also, and this is a snapshot of a section of my base basically, um, that obviously above, uh, some of the buildings in you'll see icons it's difficult to work out what they are because sometimes actually there are duplicates of the same icon over more than one but there are obviously ways of, of working out what's what so i've actually put a bit of a slide together to try and help you with this so like i said i'm looking at buildings sometimes even over here it's difficult to see but actually there's, there's some stacks on top of each other as well which is hard to work out but the the symbol the code and obviously and, and the grade as well so the number of dots above it okay we'll give you a bit of indication so that's what we're going to basically take a look at i'm also going to look at ranges and that sort of stuff as well okay here we go so it's a complex slide okay it's the first of two but actually if we look at it top left okay we'll look at what these things are so what i've basically done is obviously i've taken the snapshot of the blueprint okay some of these are limited blueprints some of these are routine blueprints and actually some are in your attack lab as well so you've got to look for them in different places in the game but um, this hopefully if you want to hold on to this sort of a presentation for later on you know, log this somewhat, log this sort of way you'll, you'll find that actually um, you'll come back to this maybe again and again because when you're actually looking at these slides specifically okay and, uh, and you're and you're going into a base and you're wondering what does that actually mean you know ah that symbol on the water means that that person has installed this installation okay so top left like i said it's splash buffer this is good so it's a, it's against host it's hostile that's the first thing i think to be working out where it's a hostile which is type here as opposed to this one which is friendly so bear in mind hostile means that if that person's outside of the range then it's going to do nothing so just because you fitted it and it gives you some nice bonus stats if they're not inside the range of that item then it's going to do nothing whatsoever if it if their ship gets into the range this this one being 150 then whatever splash is on theirs it'll be reduced by 70 percent and if it's actually fitted as you can see this one here it's fit to the outpost it's reduced by a further 35 percent so that's a hostile one anyway so splash buff okay reduction okay and actually then obviously reduces the buff of the splash of the incoming ships then based off obviously whether it's fitted onto a uh, a normal building or whether it's fitted onto the outpost you get a small bonus there um Oload reload mechanism, okay, so this is a good one for the outpost, okay, um, it does give you a nice bonus of weapon salve of 200%, but obviously you can only fire so many times because it's got a 60 second cooldown as well, alright then, so just bear that in mind, so uh, range then, 15, so unless the turret is literally sitting right next to the outpost, it'll have no effect whatsoever. So the range is really, really short and it's quite difficult to work out whether this one's on your own base 
but look at the water indicator okay that will tell you straight away that that is actually on the outpost so that's what you'll see on the water okay then that is the actual uh, uh, installation that you fit okay so that one actually is it affects your it's a friendly bonus it affects your stuff okay then and what does it do it actually adds okay then effects to your turrets that's basically what it does okay so there we go uh, moving down like i said so let's have a little look at the mp blast so the mp blast can be fitted to several obviously different things including obviously what a lot of people do is they fit into the oil rigs and then tack them all to, all to the um or to their warehouses the emp blast as you can see it looks like an electrical um, symbol on there so uh, that's quite straight easy to work out what it is on the water and like i say it does give a stun effect and obviously some ships do have anti-stun so it won't be as effective okay but um yeah it also has a range 102 so just bear in mind as well some ships have a greater range than 102 so if they're not going to get inside that hostile range then actually they're going to blow it up it's not going to impact their ship so they may do a drive by blow up that installation and they're going to not be affected okay and then swing back around and then and then continue on forward okay and so just bear that in mind it doesn't automatically mean just because you fit the building that it's actually going to affect a certain ship okay and some ships have greater range than obviously the item itself that's been fitted um, and, and the last one of this one then, then is a good one hostiles it's got a good range 130 so all the standard things like um, will hounds and that sort of stuff okay it will affect those um, so 130 range for this one here and obviously it reduces reload as well so a concussive reload of minus 50 percent which is quite helpful okay um, and then you get a little bonus as well on top of that if it has actually fits the outpost so very good for short range turrets once they got right into the back of your channel okay it does help let's move forward and look at the next set um, not always the best set okay um, one of them is particularly good though uh, which we'll have a look at and uh, I've, I'll, I'll talk about that in a second but um, the explosive uh, bulwark basically is either fit it to your outpost or fit it to your dock it doesn't really serve any purpose anywhere else um, you can see the icon on the sea there which is obviously the sort of pinky purple shield okay uh, it just gives obviously uh, a little bit of explosive uh, deflection basically but not a great deal these days okay it looks huge but it isn't um, <clears throat> moving down then so the uh, the iron storm accelerator it, it's got a really short range it's a friendly so it affects your turrets it adds it adds the accuracy projectile speed as you can see and reduces the spread so that's nice for things like scatters and that sort of stuff you know um so area effect weapons the good thing about it is the bit at the bottom of the where it says they're immune to slow stun and hostile fields okay so everything is inside that range of 50 just think about things that are coming into your base that may actually try to stun or slow okay now obviously you can't slow a turret but you can certainly stun things so if you put this in the right place this is a limited special by the way you can only have three at the moment um, but if you do uh, put this in the right place in your base or a couple of them in the right place in your bases then um, the, that stun effect has has a great impact because a lot of people do try and stun certain aspects of your base as they're attacking okay so just 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 uh, if you happen to have those they're, they're worth utilizing um, kinetic buffer okay at the top right then uh, that one there is okay like I said the range isn't huge it's 90 so they've got to have to be well inside their firing range okay and before this thing takes effect okay like I said you can see that on the water um, effect there so it's like a dome and it sort of like protects things as they're incoming I think that's a general idea of what that picture means okay um, but it reduces projectile speed so if somebody's right inside in the back of your uh, back of your uh, base then obviously that might obviously affect okay and reduce obviously the the incoming projectile speed which obviously makes might or might not help your countermeasures okay 70 percent reduction is the generic um the reduction there and obviously a bonus effect then with the outpost uh, moving on to the last two on the bottom right hand corner here fire support one and fire support two these used to be multiplicative okay you used to be able to put fire support two on giving you a 10 percent bonus and then you used to be able to fire support one as well to add on top of that it's not like that anymore unfortunately um so fire support two is the one for your buildings and fire support one whilst fire support two is too heavy is what you put on your oil rigs and then put those in the areas basically that if you wish to add five percent it's not a huge amount but still five percent damage is still is, is a bonus that you, you wouldn't have had if you didn't bother putting it on um and you can put those on the like i say on the oil rigs on the sea 
and those will, those will help the turrets that aren't in the range of fire support two. If it's already in range of fire support two, then it won't do anything at all. Okay, and you can't stack them basically anymore. You used to be able to, um, and then they reduce the number of stacks, and now you just can't stack them at all. Okay, of these specific ones anyway. Uh, so that's just something that's worth uh, worth pointing out. Just notice that on fire support, okay, and fire support one obviously and fire support two, they look the same, but look at the dots above, okay. And so the dot above that one there has got a single dot for fire support one, and the dot above this one here is two dots, so that's fire support two. I'm guessing one day fire support three may turn up, okay. Probably around 15% bonus that may give, we'll see. Let's move on. So You'll notice that I've got my dock there, it's out, out the way at the moment, but it's actually got, obviously you can see, fire support one on it. Just thought I'd uh, mention then quickly that actually, although whilst I've got one in my base as well, and look, there's, there's, a, there's an anti-rocket uh, turret, but next to there is obviously uh, another turret there. And actually that's the ring of fire support one. And whilst it looks like it's not covering the turret, as so long as it's actually clipping the edge of the turret, which is all that matters, and you look at that in obviously in the base builder area, then you're covered, okay? So it doesn't actually have to cover the whole turret, it just needs to clip the edge of the turret. But it's interesting, when you're actually firing out from your turret as well, or from your building and looking at the aura effect, okay? It starts in the center of the building, as you can see here. So center of this, obviously this this, uh, this warehouse, or the center of, the, of your, you know, the dock here. Um, and obviously, as we all probably remember from in the game, then because the way that obviously um, the game is built on a, on a diamond, okay, the distance from obviously um, left to right and uh, up and down is actually the same, although it looks elliptical, it's not. So the distance top to bottom is actually the same as the distance left to right. So it actually doesn't make any difference. It just visually doesn't look the same, okay. The other thing about so obviously these tactical fields here, and like I said, I've, I've indicated obviously the, the the one inside the purple zone here, which is obviously this one here, which is obviously this one here. Okay, its range is 150. Okay, then so that's that's indicated nice and clear. Okay, by the range indicator, some of them don't have any indication whatsoever. Okay, um, which is quite difficult. So this one here, okay then, this one here, which is a hostile field then, it's indicated there by that frosting sort of a uh, snowflake there, but actually you can just see a tiny faint line, okay then, a tiny faint line around here it's like a real light gray line, okay, and that's actually got a 130 range I think it is difficult to see so so that's why a lot of people go into your base and stop and pause and have a little look and they're trying to work out what the installations are best route of attack they're looking for your subs rising that sort of stuff you know and some people do take base pictures obviously because they're trying to work out what tacticals you've got and what effect they'll have on their attacking ships uh, and, and that's a good thing for you to do as well particularly during obviously uh, you know some of the events that are coming up and that sort of stuff you know uh, is to go into some bases and have a little good look around you know uh, and, and see other people's ideas and see what tactical installations they're using as well. And uh, watching base attacks is a good thing to do as well. Bounty is a great time for doing this sort of thing. Even the keg site bases, go into those, um, uh, you know, uh, and have a little look around and just, just, you know, just sit on the side if you want to and wait for them to time out and, and count up all the tactical installations, work out what's in there and see what effect they would have. Okay. So uh, summarizing all this then. So here we go. Um, like I said, we're not talking about turret specials. You know, these these are visual straight away. The second you put it on your, in your turret builder, you'll get the corresponding effects over here. So, you know, the damage effect, uh, obviously that's one of the new um, concussive turrets. Okay, that's not what we're really worried about in here. That's that straightforward and it's quite obvious. It's these ones over here. So if you position your, your, your bonuses in the right place, then you'll get all this installation mod and bonus effect Okay, but obviously it's the one specific to the turret type. So as we said, this one here then, you know, is, is giving us, you know, uh, it's a quite a decent amount of damage then obviously concussive. But um, over here, what do I get of it? I get an extra 10% damage. Okay, so 10% on top of that as well. Okay, but also down here as well, I get a reload bonus as well. Okay, uh, this is clearly obviously quite near the outpost as well because I'm getting a weapon salvo. Remember that was only every 60 seconds, but it is there as well. Okay then, so and it does have a berserker effect for some, some items as well. So just bear that in mind, there are some bonuses. You don't get the rest of them for this particular one, but anything else that's inside that tactical range for a different turret type, then obviously you will get the corresponding bonus effect. 
So it's worth noting then that actually this turret here was actually in the vicinity of fire support one, but it's only getting the bonus obviously of fire support two. So remember what I said, they don't stack. So it's just worth remembering that as well. So you only get the 10%, not the 15% that you used to get. So just to conclude, okay, so just think about obviously um, what they visually look like. You know, you can have a look back at these slides. You look at your own base as well if you're unsure. You know, if you're going to someone's base and you can't work out what that what that um, that special is on that building, go back into your own base and, and and you know base parts are easy to get hold of these days. Just just go around and try fitting some different um, you know tactical installations on your own items. You know, the, uh, your dock is a good place to do it as well. Uh, it's quite straightforward to do. And then you can work out you know what it is that someone's actually got in their base. Um, positioning is important. There's no point having a hostile um, tactical field that's in the back of your base that obviously by the time they've actually got to your outpost it actually, actually have, they haven't even come to the range of it that's a waste of time as well so obviously have things that are hostile closer to the front so that actually the person's going to actually you're going to actually have an effect on their ships coming into you and third and foremost i think anything that's a friendly fire just make sure that you've positioned it correctly the turrets around it obviously are affected by the item that you fitted into the base as well. And that obviously don't try and put too many in the same base because obviously base power is um, really, really sort of like tight at the moment. And, um, you know, fire support one, if you have three or four or five of them and they're all in the same area, only one's going to work. So there's no point in putting loads. So just be cautious on what it is you're putting in there. Okay, that's it. Um, a quick revision, like I said, um, and there's a few things probably I've, I've missed and omitted and that sort of stuff. Feel free to put into those in the comments, obviously, as ever. Uh, it's just a quick review. Um, it, it should help some individuals, even if it's just a visual of, uh, you know, what tactical installation and what does it look like on the water. You can go back to the previous slides and then you can have a quick look and it will just give like, you a bit of revision. Hope that helps. Anyway, uh, take it easy out there and uh, enjoy the Battle Pirates as ever. Okay, TSM out.